hi everyone welcome back to my channel i have an unboxing to do today this one came from paint some way i've got two diamond paintings here they are just like the standard size they are both 30 by 40s um so we'll go ahead and start with this one i guess So like I said, this one is a 30 by 40. The price of this one was $7.99. Now that is um that is a little bit more the the price of that is a little bit more than like what I would say the, the 30 by 40s usually are, but this one is a square diamond painting. So sometimes the squares are a little bit more expensive than like the round drills. Not really sure why that is. I don't know if just because they're not as like common, but they usually cost a little bit more than more than the kits with the round drills in them. So this one they call this one for sprite. So it's like a little, little like foresty fairy type girl. Kind of looks like a little fairy, reminds me of like a fairy, but she has like all this like greenery leaves around her and her hair. Take a close look there at her. So the background is just like an all, all white, but then she has like those blues and greens in her, which of course those are some of my favorite colors. But I thought this, this canvas was a little bit different for me than like what I normally do. I've not ever done anything like this one. I don't usually really do a lot of, um... A lot of like people are like a lot of faces unless it's like a specific character from a show or something like that. So it does have a table up here on the bottom right and then top left and that's pretty normal for diamond paintings. They usually have one on each side like that. It does come with 22 colors. And it looks like they're all pretty much, as far as like the symbols, that they're all pretty much letters. So the letters are usually pretty easy to read. And then there's the little thumbnail there of what, of what the picture actually looks like. I don't know how well you can see that. Of course, it does come with a toolkit there, pen tray, and wax, just everything you need to diamond paint. And then here are the drills. These ones did come pre-bagged, which is very nice. I will say it's definitely easier to work, work with them this way, um, because like when I do my diamond paintings, I don't like like how some people will like it do like a kit up they will kit up and like put their put the drills in like different containers or baggies i don't do that i just leave them however they come so whether it, they be pre-bagged or they just come in like the little like little plastic bags i i don't switch them out to anything else i just leave them how they come so i will say when they come pre-bagged that is nice I don't, and the reason why I do that is because I don't like to take, I don't really have an issue too much with working with the drills like that. And I don't like to take like a lot of extra time to kit up or get my canvas ready. I like to just get right into it. So I just leave them how they come. Since they are pre-bagged though, I won't take these out just because they can be a pain to put back in. But you can pretty much see all the colors in there. And like I said, these are square drills. So... Uh, 
lots of nice colors in there. Like I said, all those blues and greens. And there's like some purples in there too. And then all the whites, of course, for that background. I don't work with square drills too often. The I will say that the round drills are probably the most common. I do say, for me, it usually takes me a little longer to get it done when they are square drills just because I feel like you have to like line them up more precisely in order for them to fit all like fit together um so it takes me a little bit longer time to do the square drills but I do like all I like how they always look the I like how the canvas looks afterwards with the square drills just because they all sit like I said they all sit like right next to each other and against each other rather than having space a lot of space in between them so Makes it look nice, but can sometimes make it take make it take a little longer to do. But that's all right. And this isn't like I said. This is just the standard thirty by forty, so it still shouldn't be too bad to do. All right, and then I've got one more kit here. And this one is also a thirty by forty. one is goes horizontally rather than vertically and the price of this one was $5.99 so like I said if you notice there they are the same size canvas but but the one with the square drills was it was just a bit more a bit more expensive but still really great prices for the kits So this one on the site is called Christmas Cuddles. So it is a little bit more of a wintry scene, which normally around this time I wouldn't be getting any more wintry canvases, but I thought this was super cute. And I won't be doing any more winter wintry canvases until until next winter, so but I have enough stuff in my stash to do to keep me busy till then, so I will save this one for next winter but it is super adorable it's these two little foxes and they're in like the snow and there's trees behind them i just thought it was adorable let's take a closer look here at it so this one's gonna have a lot of blues and whites in it and then like some oranges and browns probably for the for the fox for both of the foxes there looks like a maybe like a mom and baby fox is what it looks like it's so cute and there's some snow down there and i think over here is just kind of like a big oh, that might be her body i thought that was like a rock over here yeah that's part of her body i think and then there's a little thumbnail there of the picture, but I think it the the drill fill area is pretty clear and you can pretty much tell tell what it is and it looks really nice. It does come with 20 drill colors. These ones are also all letters. Should be pretty easy to read. And then a table on both sides like the other one. And then this also came with a drill kit. And then these are the drills. They are just round like I said. So these ones, like I was saying, these ones aren't pre-bagged. They just come in like the little plastic. And I'll just work with them just like that out of there. There's a lot of neutral colors in there, of course, for those foxes. And then a little bit of oranges, and then those blues, some grays in there. Very nice. Alright, so those were the two kits that I got from them. Like I said, that came from Paint Some Way. 
take one more look at them here. There's my little forest girl and then the cute little foxes. So let me know what you guys think of both of these. I will of course have everything linked down in the description so you can go check them out if you would like. Like I said, I'm going to leave this one probably for next winter, but I don't know how soon I'll get to this one, but I think they're both very nice kits and I really like them. So let me know which one you guys like. And thank you again to Paint Some Way for sending me these for sending both of these kits to me and thank you guys for watching i hope you enjoyed bye